Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Cinema and Theatre Break Show, where we keep it 100% Kenyan cinema and theatre. And stopping by today is an amazing gentleman who are doing amazing work outside there, uh, Tevin and uh, Lucarelli Onyango. Thank you for Black having Paper. us. Yeah, yes, <laughs> Mr. Black Paper. <laughs> Mr. Black Paper. Beautiful. Yes, and, and Tevin. Welcome to Cinema and Theatre Break Show. Thank you so much for having us. Man. Thank you guys for coming. Oh, thank you, thank you. I know you guys have been busy... Um, with filming mm. uh, last weekend, uh, Lucarelli, you had uh, a premiere mm. of, of a film. Yeah. Uh, we really wanted to host you that time, but we couldn't. You can always call me again. No worries. Uh -huh. uh, I'm always available <laughs> if I am. <laughs> yeah. So, so I saw something. Uh, mm -hmm. there's, there's, a, there's a series of short films yeah. that premiered some mm -hmm. time back, mm -hmm. and that's what made me to reach out to you. And, uh, and I told you guys, I, I've seen your work. I would yeah. love to, to just come and have a conversation on it. Mm -hmm. But before we get into that, I'm really, really interested about your stories. Because the first time I heard of Tevin, yeah. it was around 2019. Someone sent me his uh, shot. He had done a one-minute shot. It's oh. called Ori. Yeah. Oh. And, and yeah. I kept watching that thing and I'm like, how did you do this? Because it's one minute yeah, and it was minute. really, really, really amazing. I'm um, really, really guys interested to know your story mm -hmm. before we, we just get and, and talk about your new film, okay? So, yeah. for you, uh, Tevin, how did you join this, this industry? Industry. Uh, man, I stumbled upon film. <laughs> <laughs> it was by chance. It was by chance. Meaning, uh -huh. I wanted to be a singer. Mm. Ah, rapper. No, singer, vocals, singer. Singer. vocals, vocals instruments. I can't play instruments. I oh, okay. tried and okay. failed. <laughs> <laughs> but I wanted to be a singer at that point. Mm. Uh, as a kid, mm. I never thought of being an artist. Mm -hmm. I think also because I went to the kind of wrong schools. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're not wrong schools. <laughs> <laughs> like it was uh, purely, like it purely focused on education and mm. education mm. alone. Mm. So the only time, I think it, the only memory I have and can engage in the arts in yeah. primary was this one time an organization came to visit our school mm -hmm. and we like guys we need people to do something for the visitors or my uh -huh. parents uh -huh. and we i don't know if we even wrote it i narrated the entire thing people loved it i was like yes this uh -huh. is how stardom feels like you know at class g4 <laughs> fast forward high school mm -hmm. high school eh. masoma 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 mm -hmm. so, so, mm -hmm. then now post high school because uh, I, cause I used to sing to Rakitambo, I wanted oh. to be a singer. Mm. So you really a singer, singer? Mm, I'll tell you about No, in, in the show, <laughs> I, I, can do, I can do good. Okay. But, um, but, but yeah, vocals. Someone shot that dream. Eh? Uh, uh, well, <laughs> <laughs> um, so post high school, your the face just be before results in Inini. Mm. Um, a friend of mine, Antoma DVD. Mm. Um, so my DVD, I call. I was in Drongai. There was an acting uh, group in Drongai. We called for yeah. drama, drama. Uh -huh. So I was just there, we were like, okay, Sasanda, what am I doing with my life? Let me join them. Uh. Join them. <laughs> then he tells me about this uh, traveling theater thing. I'm mm. Like, okay, cool. And the like, I forget the name of production. But he called me to a social hall. <laughs> <laughs> So I started coming for rehearsals because like, okay, I think I'm enjoying this thing, yeah, yeah. like he faced. Because yeah. I wasn't sure I even wanted to do that. I was like, I'm going to do electrical engineering. You know the results? Yeah, I'm going to do that for engineering. Do that, I think, for a week or two. I don't remember what happens, but I can talk, which was a good thing. Mm. I'll tell you why. I can talk, then I can join a group in Kayole. Manzil Kontoka Rongai Adi Kayole daily mm -hmm. for a month. Mm -hmm. Rehearsal, and that's how I got into this thing through acting. Mm -hmm. Be that for a month, mm -hmm. it was not for me. But <laughs> 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 uh -huh. no, I, I think you got a very bad experience. Mm -hmm. Worked with, I will not mention names. Yeah, it, mm -hmm. uh, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> but yeah, man, we. I think we're part of, part of the people who suffered when it is like doing traveling theater. Mm. Ah. Mm. Kehancha, bro, where, where the hell is Kehancha? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just a young kid from Nairobi. Uh -huh. So like we left stuck, it stranded in Kehancha. Mm. Ugh, man. The, ugh, I quit. I, I think after a term, quit that. Mm. 
tried auditioning for films hapa pale yata <laughs> it's not easy. <laughs> it is not. It is not. <laughs> no, look, Corelli will tell us about it. I will, I will. Because for him, <laughs> this yeah, guy has so many got, titles. Yeah. He, has, he has been in a, quite a number of Masters. local productions, oh, yeah, thank, films thank you, thank you, and uh, TV shows. <laughs> Yeah, he will tell us about yeah. auditioning. I, I'm, 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 re- I am ready to learn. You know, mm. get to get back into acting. <laughs> Don't worry, we will. But you think amazing something. work behind the camera, though. Yeah, yeah. I think that's why. I think acting was a way for me to get into the industry. Because mm. now, fast forward that we got me, me now we sort of formed like a team. Yeah. Uh, me, Faiz, who was man, man like Castro and Volume, mm. did a good job. Mm-hmm. Um, he, an, uh, an amazing DOP I work with also an editor on volume V box mm. and now a lady a lady known as Joy. Mm. So we started doing our own stuff. Yeah. And this is I think six, seven years now. Mm. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Amazing. And you're doing quite a good job by the way. Yeah. Thank you're you. Doing quite a good job. Yeah. Thank you so uh, much. I think directors they have their own respect because uh, without them you can't <laughs> see the magic that we see on camera. Yeah. And and for you look really yeah. Mr. Black Pepper himself. Uh, I yes. have a story with this guy. Uh-huh. Th- there's a time the first time we met um, I started my career at Theatrix mm. as an actor, mm-hmm. okay? Mm-hmm. I just on stage, you not know, traveling, getting <laughs> manenos. So there's a time uh, Aliwa had recommended us to Heartstrings. Mm-hmm. So we had gone to Heartstrings for audition. It was, uh, there's a guy at Theatrix was called Mark, mm-hmm. and then there was me. So he was chilling at uh, Allianz. Mm. That's how it's called, Allianz. Allianz. Yeah, Allianz. yeah, Allianz. yeah, Allianz. Allianz. <laughs> and then, and then we were doing, waiting for Sami Mwangi to come. Mm-hmm. And then I think most of the auditions were done by Ndenga. Mm-hmm. So you're waiting for Sami, and, and then I see this guy come, and I'm like, I'm auditioning with yeah. this guy. <laughs> so I freaked out. You know, there, there are those. It's like I don't know. 2019, 2017, 2016. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, you can't remember. Yeah, no, At that can't. time, I had seen him on, uh, I think, Pieces of Us. Uh, uh, and uh. also that time is when he had done a quite a big advert for Safaricom, I think. <laughs> that, no, that must be 2017. 2017, yeah, 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 yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he shows up and I'm like, I'm auditioning with this guy. <laughs> I didn't even audition. <laughs> Oh man, yeah. come on, brother. <laughs> I didn't even audition. Really, you killed this dream. <laughs> ah, <laughs> why? Why? No, but no. it's okay, now we're here. Now we're here. Uh-huh. How did you get into this industry? Um, I've been acting since I was in pre unit. Yeah, I think that's my first time I did a play. I was in pre unit. Um, since then, I've been doing plays, I've been doing choral verses. And yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. That is all through pri- uh, primary, all through high school. My high school was Usenge High School Boys. That yeah. is so far from here. Yeah. And I come from coast, so you can imagine from oh. coast all the way to Usenge. And so I was so de- <laughs> <laughs> so I was so depressed. I was so depressed. Yeah. And the only thing that gave me solace was music and drama. And so I did that a lot till a point where I became a chairman for both. And, and I acted and also did um, poems there. Mm-hmm. When I left, uh, I went to USIU. And also there, I did theater there. Mm-hmm. All right? And that's the first time I met um, Juliana. She was the chair lady uh, uh, of the drama in uh, club in, um, USIU. in USIU. Yeah. I never knew that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's where we first met. <laughs> And so after that, I decided to get into modeling. Mm. I did modeling for a few years. And I remember when I was there, the, the patron or the person who was leading the modeling never thought I was that good. <laughs> yeah. And so 2014, I, I know, right? <laughs> Look at me now. <laughs> so 2014, I decided to leave. Mm-hmm. I decided to leave them. And I remember the moment I left them, I got my first gig with Safaricom. So that was already a revelation that I can do this on my own without mm-hmm. them. And I did that. Then 2015, someone told me to go see Aliwa because I wanted to act again. Ah. I wanted to act again. And so I was, telling, I was telling this lady, an acquaintance of mine, I want to act again. What do I do? And she told me, oh, I know someone called Aliwa. Mm-hmm. At that time, he, she told me Philip. She didn't tell me Aliwa. Aliwa is, was called, is called Philip, I think. Um, ah. yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. So when I first met him at Allianz, mm-hmm. I was like, okay, listen, Philip, 
I can't speak Swahili vizuri, <laughs> but I want to join this thing yeah. and give me a chance. I think Aliwa looked at me and was like, this guy's not going to survive here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's not going to survive here. Yeah. But he gave me the chance. That's a good uh, thing. Amazing. Yeah, and so he gave me the chance to do it. I remember we rehearsed for a week. I was so tired. I was like, mm. then I, I, I didn't go on the next week. And he called me and was like, why oh, are you not coming for rehearsal? I was like, mm. I need to rest. So give you are, me two you, days you are to rehearsing rest. for... We were rehearsing a play for a plays, for traveling, okay. traveling plays. Um, and so I didn't come for two days. I was like, mm -hmm. I just want to rest. Uh, <laughs> I came on the third day, all my roles uh -huh. demoted. Yes. <laughs> I was demoted all the roles. <laughs> I know, I didn't know. The show must go on. <laughs> <laughs> and so I told him, okay, just give me the, the lesser roles, no worries, yeah. I'm going to be here. Yeah. And I think we went from, I went for that traveling thing for three months, mm -hmm. and I just dedicated myself to it every Amazing. day. Every, I, had a, I had a good time mm -hmm. uh, traveling. Mm -hmm. Unlike me. <laughs> <laughs> I remember we went to Kisi, we were yeah. traveling Kisi and Nyanza, we were doing all those plays. Yeah. I had a seriously good time. Those because, are strong holes for Aliwa. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, I had a good time there. Then once I was done with that, I was like, now I want to do film, film. I want to do mm -hmm. TV. And so after that, I think I got my other big uh, ro uh, break from Safaricom, Fuliza Ad. Mm -hmm. Immediately after that, Insignia Production called me. It's a, a lady mm -hmm. called Grace Kahaki. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. And she said, let's, let's try him out. So that was 2016, 2017. That's when I got into Pieces of Us. Amazing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then through Pieces of Us, it just became now opening doors, opening doors. Mm -hmm. And here we are now. Those after those, yeah, your career is really amazing because <laughs> oh, no, um, you. you've done really great. No, nah, and um, uh, there's pieces of us, I think, also when crime and justice, yeah, we had, yeah. We had an yeah. appearance yeah. there, yeah. Yeah. uh, on Selena, too, right? yes, yes, amazing. I got so in this, there too. This guy has yeah. done quite, yeah. quite a number, the, so, and yeah. you know, for Selena, <laughs> yeah. Because I'd come, well, it was pandemic time, mm -hmm. and so I was watching it on DSTV, and I was like, hmm. Can I, can I DM the director? So I went to Twitter and I just tell him, yo, Selena is really, really good guy. That's Ruben, yeah? I was like, yeah. yo, you're doing a great job. Thank you very much. Hopefully we can do something together. <laughs> and I think after that, I got, I got an, uh, an audition and yeah, I just got into it. Amazing. Yeah, yeah, Do you yeah. think it's easy? Do you think you're lucky? No, I, it's not luck. <laughs> it's not luck. <laughs> As I said, I've I've been doing this. Amazing. Yeah, and it's it's something. It gives it gives me solace. Acting just, mm. I feel peaceful when I'm acting. Mm. Mm. Yeah, that's the thing about it. I feel so peaceful when I'm acting. And so, what whatever someone sees in me, it's something I've been doing it for so long, and yeah. and they're dedicated. Yeah, dedicated so they my just work taught to it. it. Yeah, it's yeah. not luck. No, no, it's not luck. It's Amazing. dedication. Amazing. And yeah, sometimes luck comes. Time, Lord, and yeah. everything else. And yeah. luck comes in, but yeah. you have to be dedicated. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing, Tevin. I have so much respect for guys who started from from theater. Because yeah. uh, I believe most <laughs> most of them, uh -huh. most of them, they just keep on soaring, soaring. I think theater it it gives you some sense of discipline. Yes. And yeah. the other, and you yeah. see, like the way he says. I used to come for auditions, uh, for, for rehearsals. Mm -hmm. uh, that time we used to rehearse at this place. What was this place called? Uh, it's a forest, up a up, 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 up. Hey, um, No, 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 no. In, in town in here, town. Nairobi University. Ah. Aboretum. Yes. Yes, Aboretum. Oh, so my God. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys call Aboretum a forest? <laughs> Wow. <laughs> I know. Okay. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So we used to come there for rehearsals, and if you miss a day, there was always someone standing by. Yes. Yeah. yes. And you'll come the next day. This guy has your lines. Yeah. Everything, yeah. and he says your lines, and you're like, okay, I think I'm done. I think I'm done. And that's what I'm saying. Theater gives gives people discipline, and, mm -hmm. and for me. I always some 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 the young ones they normally DM me and I love these days how they talk they are like how, can I appear in your movies and I'm like okay <laughs> okay so sometimes I tell them go to an auditioning go go, go to uh, an acting group in mm -hmm. your region in your area mm -hmm. just just join one what mm -hmm. is theater start from there do stage plays do church plays mm -hmm. do set books because set books build people and most yeah. of the actors that you see 
here who are really like keeping it going, going. Most of them started, started from theater. Yeah. And uh, so, um, looking at your directing journey, mm -hmm. um, you are a young director. And uh, so far, you've done quite a number of, of, of projects. Looking at these projects, which one do you think is as, as open doors and has opened you so wide to the industry? Uh, that, has, <laughs> that has to be water. So we we only released a trailer. Mm -hmm. Trailer has given me jobs for the past two or three years. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> only the trailer. Just the trailer. Yeah. I think it's because um, I consume a lot of independent cinema and mm -hmm. more mm -hmm. into the psychological thriller, horror. You know, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I went from the jump scares, <laughs> whatever. Mm -hmm. So that's what I tried to do with water. So what else for me was a very experimental project. Um, did it with a couple of friends. Same, same, yeah. 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 same, same, plus a number of people I had met. Um, with Julie Brenda as my lead. We just released a trailer, bro, and it was it Viral. Like it was, I was shocked. The first time I did a multi show, a show for, a movie for my Shamajik was, like I received a phone call, a friend of mine called Otapi Giva Simo. Yeah. I go, okay. I received a phone call, I go like, we like what you did, we want to give you, we want to direct our feature. And he go, eh? Oh, yeah. Okay. You know, yeah, yeah. like That's a lot beautiful. of jobs I have gotten, yeah. like what, I think what, what is that project that even gave me a name in the industry? Yeah. Mm. That's how, I, that's how I even knew Babake. Mm. Uh, uh, Greg, also because it's, you. man, I think we worked on it, people, the people who worked on it had so much passion. Mm. I didn't know Greg. I just want to do in the city your time. Yeah, yeah. But again on Facebook, eh, uh, Gen Z, sorry, I'm not a Gen Z. <laughs> Facebook is still a thing. <laughs> Facebook is still a thing. I am, I am, Mikhail Yoga. Um, okay, it's what a, a good thing. It's a good thing. Yeah, 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 yeah but yeah, I get on Facebook, I get on Greg, I'm going to BTS. Mm. BTS and the steals from it, and I'm like, wow. Mm. Yeah, I think that really opened doors for me, also yeah. built my connections in, in the industry. Mm -hmm. And now, Stero. Yeah. Stero, yeah. because Stero, yeah, because we, man, we premiered at one of the prestigious festivals. Yeah, <laughs> we are about beautiful. About yeah. Yeah. We are about to talk about uh -huh. Stero. Uh, for you, for you uh, Mr. Black Paper, yes. why do you go the same Mr. Black Paper? <laughs> Okay, so <laughs> this is how it started. Yeah. Um, there was this lady that uh, was a very good friend of mine. Mm -hmm. And so we were having a dinner at her place. And so we were playing, I think, Truth or Dare. Mm -hmm. And so one of the friends was like, what would, you be, what would be your pornster name? Okay? <laughs> and as I was thinking about the name, the friend of mine said, Black Pepper. <laughs> Because, one, you love cooking. I'm a cook, yeah? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> yeah, it's adult games. You know, you have to play. Them. Uh, you have to play adult games. <laughs> okay. And so, the friend was like, you're a cook, and I know you like using the spice black pepper. And yeah. again, you're tall, dark, and handsome. So that would be the name. And I was like, you know what? Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. After that, I think we, we just grew apart. Uh -huh. And after growing apart, the time was on my Instagram, and I was like, you know what? Mm. I, I'm going to use that name. Mm -hmm. And so I was like, yeah, Mr. Black Pepper, that's uh -huh. going to be me. There and and no I knew, yeah, Black and, and it, because it rang in my head all that time, I was mm -hmm. like, yo, that name really stuck with me. And I was like, if it stuck with me, it'll, stuck, it'll stick with people definitely. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I decided to use it. Amazing. <laughs> so my question was about to ask you was... Uh, what is that one project that you did and uh, open uh, doors for you in terms of just your creative works out here? I would say, and this wasn't a film, mm. it's the ad for Lisa. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That seriously opened doors everywhere. Mm. Um, I think after that, I was getting calls from most producers. Mm -hmm. I was not doing a whole lot of auditions after that. Mm -hmm. I was literally yeah. it was just, yo, you want to come do this, you want to mm -hmm. come do this. Mm -hmm. And I think after that, as I said, Grace Kahaki saw me. Yeah. And he called me up and told me, 
Um, first of all, we were doing a show called Socialites. That's my first TV mm. uh, TV role I got. Uh, a dickhead called, I even forgot the name of the role. But <laughs> after Socialites, I did now Pieces of Us. Mm -hmm. that, uh, that went for like five years. And then mm. after that, I think now another level was now Crime and Justice. Yes. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. Yes. yeah. And I only did, I think, one or two episodes, but we killed it like it the, was, the, in this <laughs> industry there are no tiny holes yeah yeah, yeah no no yeah there are no tiny kill holes it. i think that's that's it you get a role you're told action just give it all yeah. give it your all and you never know amazing yeah, 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 yeah. amazing let's talk about stero mm. stero mm. the film that um uh brought you guys here yeah before we just get to understanding the production aspect of it. Mm -hmm. I want to understand that project, the story behind mm -hmm. the series of the short films that Stero was, mm -hmm. was part of, and maybe for you, you mm -hmm. just explain for us. Uh -huh. So Stero, Stero is part of an anthology of shots, mm -hmm. or a collection of shots, mm -hmm. um, titled Beneath the Tides. Mm -hmm. yes. So the idea, uh, so Beneath the Tides, it's gonna five shots, mm -hmm. so that's Stero, Baba, Ma, not Maziwa, Ziwa. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that is Ziwa. Stero, Baba, Maziwa. <laughs> <laughs> I know, yeah. <laughs> Stero, Baba, Ziwa, Mawimbi, and... Inheritance. Inheritance. Mm -hmm. So all these shots were shot independently mm -hmm. and then now i think the, the idea spark among producers um what if we come together and have a collective of shots mm -hmm. in that it's easier for it's easier it's more sellable if, if i'm gonna come to a cinema yeah and pay a thousand bob 500 bob let me not sit there for 12 minutes and leave yeah yes yeah. let's because you know value for money yeah. Yeah, value for money yeah. so it's like an hour long mm. so that's how beneath the tides was born mm. like it came about um yeah that's how okay because yeah. uh, also uh, with all these five productions five shots uh lightbox lightbox africa was a production partner in all the shots mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so so under lightbox now sort of uh, put the shots together mm -hmm. and yeah I saw there was the involvement of um, GIZ mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. um, one fine day picks yeah uh -huh. um, so Stero Stero Mawimbi and, and Inheritance mm -hmm. were funded by S some fine day which uh, uh, some fine day and GIZ which, which was part of uh, the direct the filmmaking workshop program uh -huh. um, so the idea, like it was a year-long program, writers, directors, mm -hmm. producers, go through a, seri a series of lessons, mm -hmm. come together, pitch, mm -hmm. three shots, get uh, a grant. Mm -hmm. So Mawim uh, Mawimbi and Inheritance, uh, they look part of the first year, mm -hmm. then Stero, we got the grant f uh, during the second year mm -hmm. of, the, of the program. Mm -hmm. And yeah. Amazing. There, there is something about mm. formal training when it comes to film, mm. and there's always been a discussion of uh, film students, <laughs> and, uh, industry yeah, students. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, you going through this process of, of trainings until now you came and and uh, and, and you did um, stereo. Mm -hmm. How can you say it has really impacted your your career? Man, I'd say man, it's. It, it's, it's been of very, very great value for me. Mm -hmm. um, because I come from the YouTube University. Uh -huh. the industry, industry student. <laughs> industry student. <laughs> uh -huh. you know, and we've been uh, find two of you to just, you know, mm. as to how you... Like, with that little information that you, that you have. Mm. So getting into some fine day gave me an entire perspective into this thing, production, you know. Yeah, yeah. Even Stero. Bro, I have never done post-production for a project for Sujui Karibu one year. Yeah, mm. yeah. I have never done that. And this is a short film. This is a short. Yeah. <laughs> this is 13 minutes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hey. So like even because um, we worked, our dieting mentor was Likarion. Mm. I, Likarion. I am a fan of Likarion yeah. and his work. <laughs> but, mm -hmm. So getting, for me, learning from Likarion, mm -hmm. learning from the mentors around the program, from even the, the distribution aspect of it. Yeah. My brother, knowledge is like I saw. I, I saw. I saw a new. I saw a perspective of film mm. that I never had before. Because mm. mm. for me, film was okay. It was fun, but there's something I needed to learn. Yeah, mm. yeah. Mm. Like I needed that shift. 
Yeah. And that some the entire program was mm -hmm. it for me. Did you write it or um I saw you were the two two directors on it? Oh yeah. Yeah, you and uh, Milan Tarus. Yeah. Tarus. Um, I, I almost said Tarus. <laughs> <laughs> Tarus. Uh, did you also write it? Uh, so Milan, Milan is a writer. Okay. So Milan had worked on this story, uh, I think, two years. I started working on the story two years before. Mm -hmm. We got into some fine day mm -hmm. uh, where we met our amazing producer, Juliana Kabua. Mm, give uh, it up, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so Milan, I think, because I met Milan. Like three years before, I'd worked. With, I actually worked with him on Water. Milan, mm -hmm. Milan wrote that for me. Mm -hmm. So Milan was working on this piece of short for Aliko now for a while. Uh -huh. So we, I read, I read the first draft again two years before, mm -hmm. two years prior mm -hmm. to joining some fine day. Now they got into the program. Him with their directing mentors worked on the script. Yeah. When we paired up. We now sort of, because he, Ali Kuana Kitu, we could work with already. Yeah. He got to Kwanda from zero. Like there was, there were, he had worked on it, on, uh, he had worked on several drafts. Mm -hmm. So it was a matter of now me coming as a director, finding my voice in the story, mm -hmm. you know, just having conversation around that. Mm -hmm. And the producer was Juliana. Juliana is a creative producer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like the story has to make sense, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, the story is key. Story is key. Story is key. Just give us a synopsis of, of, of Stero and, and what the story is all about. Stero, ah, yeah, wow. So Stero is a, once, it's a, it's a beautiful shot. Uh -huh. yeah. um, Stero is a story about this nine-year-old kung fu prodigy who navigates this day in school mm -hmm. with his imaginary sensei. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Following one rule, mm -hmm. what would Bruce Lee do? Yes. <laughs> I watched it, and uh, I watched it twice. Uh -huh. Nice. I watched it twice, and the first one was just the story. Mm -hmm. Even when when you say about the imaginary um, sensei mm -hmm. or imaginary kung fu master, mm -hmm. I was trying to to see in the in the first time I watched it. I was uh -huh. trying to see is this the father, mm -hmm. uh -huh. or is it a, a mentor? But sometimes you see the boy is, is he's doing the kung fu things, mm -hmm. and then the mentor is not there. Mm -hmm. And then when he goes to class, the voices keeps on coming. Mm -hmm. I loved it. How did you pair up with the, with, with the actors and, and Lucarelli? Because Lucarelli is, uh, is the imaginary... Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> sensei right there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have history in Kung Fu? Uh, no, but I'm a kickboxer. Oh. I'm an amateur kickboxer. My record is five wins, two losses at the moment. Amazing. But yeah. Yeah. Amazing. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That was right casting there. Yeah. 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 Because yeah. 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 a friend of a friend of mine, his name is Omar Hamza. Mm. Mm. So while Omar also won a grant, has a film Ndoto. Mm. Watch watch out for it. Mm. Coming soon. I mm. hope. <laughs> um so Milan I know Milan. Omar 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 knew about our story. Mm -hmm. So Omar was like, You guys should try Mr. Black Paper. Mm. Like, okay. <laughs> like you see this guy on Instagram, but like I look so, I know this guy. <laughs> like he's because we, we had our brief already for how, how we want our sensei to be, you know, like yeah. it was, especially the physique, the physique aspect of it, like it was so specific. Mm, mm, mm. Um, did that, called him for an audition, the moment he walked in, and he, like he just nailed it, bro. Yeah. As in, <laughs> but, <laughs> I was mean, to look at so sure. Yeah, yeah. he's it, the one. He's the one, because also now he came, he has, like he said, he has a background in not kung fu, kickboxing. but kickboxing. kickboxing. Same for the kid. Mm -hmm. The kid, the kid is a non-actor. Yeah. Never acted before. Has never thought but about it. But he's this. really good. Yeah. I, he's he really is. good. Kyle really did a good job. Did I? I mean, like boy, <laughs> amazing. So Kyle does. Was it boxing? I think yeah. he does boxing mm -hmm. in school. Mm -hmm. So when Kyle came in, Kyle came in. Chico came in. Pair them together. Mm -hmm. Man, the synergy. Between these two people, yes. well, like I think, yes. 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 And, that, that, and the synergy could be seen, can be yeah. seen on yeah. screen. It was on and off screen. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. And you worked with it. it this is a star studded cast because mm. I saw there there is uh, Justin Mirichi, yeah. and there is uh, this lady, um, Chopeta, Chopeta, mm. Amali. Um, yeah, yeah. These, yeah. these are star studded <laughs> cast. Yeah, yeah. How was it working with them? A beautiful experience, mm. one of the easiest uh, times I had on set. Mm. Fun. Mm -hmm. is because people 
because all of them know their job. You know, it's like it's a matter of um, not in a bad way. Mm. But <laughs> uh-huh. just, just say, say yes. No, no, no. Just just say. Say. It's not like uh, you're coming, uh, trying to teach people how to, like they already know that. So it's a matter yes. of, you know, mm. they have their own choices. Like you, you, how do I put it? Um, like you give them a canvas to work with, you know. Mm-hmm. And like the decisions they make, the choices they make, wow. That's the Because they, like they know their job, like yeah. they are doing their job. Mm. I didn't need to do an actor's job. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's imagine they are not, wo- they, they are not watching. Um, did they ask you about your, 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 di- your directing experience? Uh, Why not? Even, even just I've gotten that before. Imagine Black Pepper is not here. Because <laughs> <laughs> some of these established actors, they, they, they meet uh, an upcoming director, they're like, um, I'm a do. Was a twenty years some of your work? I remember you have one shot. <laughs> no, lucky for me. Yeah. So when I got into the industry, the two people who really showed me around was Justin Mirishi Amazing. and their wife Sakina. Mm-hmm. She's now years later. Mm-hmm. So even we called Justo. First of all, the show is happy. It's young boy, Omishikoki mm. Jana Mkono. Yeah. This boy is doing amazing things. Yes. So, you know, for me, like, I could, I don't know, it mm. was, because mm-hmm. all of them, what, what sold, uh, what sold, whatever, they all bought into the story. Mm-hmm. Like, you took a picture. Mm-hmm. Whether it's me directing the shot or anyone, everyone mm-hmm. was sold the story. Mm-hmm. And everyone wanted to tell the story. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Amazing. How was it for you, uh, look, really, filming uh, Stero? With a young director. With a young director. <laughs> 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 uh, I think for me, I didn't mind who the director was. As he said, yeah. the story already sold me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I remember I was sending them a whole lot of ideas yeah. of how I wanted Sensei to be. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So for me, I was already sold to mm-hmm. the idea of mm-hmm. doing this. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I loved the art direction. I'm gonna lie. I loved the the wardrobe they gave me. Like mm-hmm. it, it totally yeah, worked. Yeah. It totally worked. And then, of course, because I was acting with Kyle. I think Kyle and I already connected on, on the audition day. Yeah. Like, we mm-hmm. seriously already connected. And after that, during rehearsals also, yeah. he really wanted to learn. Yeah. And, and of course, I was, I was showing off at some point. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so like, chill. You're like, let, let me show you how we Relax. do this. And so I, I was showing off to Kyle yeah. that, yo, if, a, if you want to do this, this yeah. is how it's done. And so he was sold. I, I wanted to do this. Mm. So for me, it was... It was so easy. Amazing. Yeah, it be, it came it came easy for me because the role was so good. I had never done an imaginary um, mm-hmm. role before. Mm-hmm. With with the with the art I given, the costume given, the art direction I was mm-hmm. given, and then the rehearsals in the yeah. forest, mm-hmm. so beautiful. Like I was going back home. I'm doing my own moves. I'm like, what what will I do with this uh, space that I was given? Yeah, and and so. I, I just love. I was a child again. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. I was a child mm-hmm. again, and and I enjoyed it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. When did you film it? I loved the the landscape when, mm-hmm. especially um, where where the sensei the, is, where the, the kid in, is coming. The from, dojo from the school. yeah, the dojo. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, the dojo. Ah, nice. I think before that, shout out to because he's mentioned about art and wardrobe. Mm-hmm. Shout out to mm-hmm. our production designer. Yeah, that's Sinjoki. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. and Kambua. And Kambua, man. Yeah, amazing. Yeah. Beautiful. Wow. It's an amazing job. Yeah, for sure. Um, we filmed Nika Kalro Kal Dairy. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah Dairy, Dairy. Ah. Like, I think it's a good thing when you do a good job, you know, because yeah. everyone is short there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Even for Luke short there, like who is that? Short? Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> yeah, it was beautiful. It was amazing. Beautiful. Yeah. In the scene specifically, mm-hmm. um Sensei is coming. The kid, I think, was coming from school, mm-hmm. and they are walking, and uh-huh. you could see the landscape. That's the second scene. Uh, the landscape, yeah. the landscape, and you could see up to yeah. like it's just beautiful. Yeah. This, 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 you are showing our magical Kenya landscape. Yeah. Where yeah. is that place? But on Dairy. Dairy, Dairy yeah. Caro, like it's beautiful, man. Yeah, I have amazing. to say, V Box and Abdi did a beautiful amazing. job. Amazing, amazing job. Yeah, 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 cinematography. Yeah, yeah. It was yeah, really good. Yeah. Yeah. I, I texted you and I told you this thing should have been a feature film. Are, are you guys planning <laughs> to make it into a feature film? Um, yeah, we're working on a feature. Uh, yeah, because I think you should just give the boy a, a lot of <laughs> things to 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 
uh, to tackle in the movie and keep on giving him. Yeah, because we're sensei. Yeah, uh, imagine sensei. Mm-hmm. What would mm-hmm. do in yeah, this yeah. situation? Because now, because now it's stereo. Because it's a short. We only we are only able to tackle mm. language specifically. Okay. Um, but now with the future, you know, we're, tracking, we're not uh, tackling like many many aspects around mm. the issues on identity, which is the key subject for our story. Mm. Um, yeah, man. So which identity? Pardon? Which identity? Um, like self identity. <laughs> okay. Self identity. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's not an identity. Oh. You know, we should accept the world we're living in. Oh, yeah, no, oh, I understand. Yeah, sure. yeah, yeah. yeah. We so should. It's oh, good to, yeah. to specify exactly what you <laughs> Which mean. Identity. Self yeah, yeah. identity. Um, but also, I think it's also just the identity of of a child who wants to navigate this world where the system wants to keep you. Yeah you know, as speaking English. And yeah, we're speaking English now. Mm. But I um, I think the schools, primary and high school, they should let you speak Swahili because Swahili yes, is yes, our yes, mother yes. tongue. Mother like tongue. It's, it it's, it's the Africa's first language. Mm-hmm. And it's and so and funny. Uh, yeah. uh, it's crazy that we're only... Swahilian. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> 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 Yeah, I was, I was, I was colonized in my mind, bro. Like, I can't lie to you. Yeah. Um, but yeah, nafikiria um, lazima yuzi shule zote wa muwe kwamba kiswahili na English ama kingereza zote zineza, zine, watu neza zisema pamoja. Yes. Yeah. Sia ati kiswahili ni only on yeah. Fridays. <laughs> no, no. Uh, <laughs> Juan, I'm struggling, true. guys, but, you know, <laughs> forgive me. Because yeah. <laughs> the story I saw are uh, the kid uh, there's a place you know um you know that disc the wearing thing yeah. Yeah. It disgusted me when i was still in school <laughs> oh, you did it too yeah you experienced it yeah i experienced it did you experience it uh, yeah yeah yeah, it. yeah 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 i don't know where the the the, the, the prefects used to get that thing First is so dirty. First is just a bone yeah, a, a job bone of a job bone you don't a, know a cow's horn <laughs> yeah and they are telling you you're only on Friday only yeah. when you're speaking crazy mm-hmm. from Monday and everything. But for me, I think we should embrace Swahili. Oh, yeah. And and, and um, sometimes I'm a fan of uh, this guy from USA. It's called Malema. Mm. Uh, he's really pushing for mm-hmm. this thing and also mm-hmm. PLO. Yeah, yeah. They are really pushing that in Africa, let's just all of us speak Swahili. Mm. And it can be powerful, especially. Mm-hmm. Um, it's a beautiful thing if you just travel here and go to Zambia mm. and you're speaking Swahili. You mm. don't have to learn their English, their language mm. or yeah. anything. Mm. So, it's a good thing. It's a good thing. Yeah. Um, let's talk a- about the post-production. Because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. there's, a, there's a particular scene that really, really got me. And I think, I was thinking, what if it had music? What if or just to be that silent. There's a time when curious, which the, the kid is, is sitting, I think it's on top of a... Of oh, a, the last scene. Uh, yes, on yeah. top of a building. And then he's sitting just there and the sensei comes. But it's so silent. And I couldn't just... I, my eyes are fixed on the screen. Mm-hmm. How was it? Like the sound design, did you guys decide no sound, no music here? We just, how was it, the post-production process? Like, post production was a learning curve for me. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. It was, man, we did months and months of post production. We did mm. a number of revisions, uh, edits, mm. just you know, like just doing cut, sending it out to people for feedback, to filmmakers, to non filmmakers. Yeah. Man, yeah. I was watching it with key, random kids. Yeah, yeah. Oh, what well, you want to, you, you know, it was yes. just, just to get. Um, what people think about it? Um, worked with an amazing, amazing team. Worked with Podge, mm-hmm. he's he, 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 Shout mm-hmm. out to Podge. Mm-hmm. Um, and sound design done by Sean Pivers. Mm-hmm. Sean, Sean is a Sean is a brilliant man. He's a brilliant guy. Mm-hmm. Sean. So Sean, because we, we like I just to give a brief for the music mm-hmm. for how like the music how I had the film, mm. how we had the film, me, Milan, together with Juliana. Mm. And she was like, say no more, bro. <laughs> 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 Let me show how it's you done. Know, um, also, also this, 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 this was the very first time I was doing uh, sound design on a film on that level. Uh-huh. Me, I was like, soundtrack. <laughs> 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 no original composition. Uh-huh. It's a matter of that. No uh-huh. ding. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah, yeah. But this, like we did, every, like every piece of music was, we created that together with Sean. Yeah. So with the last scene, because the last yeah, it's it was very intentional for the last scene not mm-hmm. to have music, because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. now this is 
because we've journeyed with Bruce Coach, played by Kyle. We've journeyed with him trying to be a stero. Mm -hmm. It's been, it's been, it's been, it's been, a, it's been hell for him mm -hmm. trying to be a stero. You know, mm -hmm. getting punished and so on. Mm -hmm. But now, when when you get to to the end, we see him together with Sensei, yeah. and he wears this wears this disc, you know. Yeah. Working with kids on set is is one thing. It's <laughs> it, 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 it's another thing when it comes to directors, yeah. and just even anyone, yeah. especially when you're on set. Also, you are an adult yeah. actor. Yeah. Working with kids. Sometimes you need to be very cautious, and sometimes uh, the kids, because kids are delicate, mm -hmm. fast with their emotions, mm -hmm. fast with everything. How yeah. is it working with all these kids? And I saw there's a time a whole classroom was full of kids. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How was it working with them? <laughs> the parents are that, let me, uh, I think I was finishing up on the previous yeah. movie. Okay. So for that point, mm -hmm. um, it's Manze. This boy has been through hell, trying to be a stero. Okay. okay. So, like we needed a moment of silence for. Like the focus for you is, remember it's a wide shot. Mm. Mm. <laughs> it's a wide shot with two people mm. and, and there's okay. an action going on. Mm. And, you know, because now for, for us, unfortunately, as much as we try to fight, even fight the system, mm. the truth of the matter is, mm. it's going to put that yeah. on. You yeah. know? Yeah. Yeah, so back to, what's the, what's the question? Oh, working, working with, with kids. kids. Eh, working with kids. I do not advise. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> but do we need kids on set? Yeah, yeah man, yeah, it yeah. was... Eh, I feel like I have a love-hate relationship with kids mm. on set. As a director. As a director. Eh, bro. Ay, yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. Um, you know, working Kyle, the prefect, done by Angel, the, the prefect, that was... I mean, she was mean. <laughs> <laughs> She was mean. <laughs> she did a good job. Yeah, yeah. Um, you, Before you go to that, mm -hmm. just one thing. I love the aspect of them acting as as commanders. Mm. With walkie talkies? Mm, with yeah. walkie talkies. <laughs> You'll tell us about that. Okay. Tell us about kids working with them. Yeah, kids. Mm -hmm. Oh, yo, so. So, working. Uh, was, I think for me, mm -hmm. this, I, I had worked with not kids. One kid, may work with one kid at a time <laughs> yeah. in project. Moja, yeah. not more than. So now this is a story. Mm. I was thrown, literally thrown in the bus, man. This yeah. is uh -huh. like a story. The story goes hour. around kids. Yes. For the classroom scene, that was, it was fun. It was enjoyable. Mm. Um, Cause for the, you know, they're excited about it. Yes. Then we could take seven, watch a choker. They're trying to. <laughs> I'm there, I'm there on the monitor. <laughs> then my continuity person, Matei, shout out, did amazing ah, job. Amazing, mm. amazing. Um, Matei is like, you guys are cut me, I'm like, me, I'm happy. <laughs> he's like, so who you can alikuwa ik, mkona, bro, You know, he was like, it was, no, it was, I think it was, it was fun, but it was, a, it was a learning lesson for me. Especially mm. for that scene. For the scene where we have kids, where one spies the where Kuwait one spies the prefect, mm -hmm. me had given up. <laughs> <laughs> you want said? Yeah, no, I was. It takes bro, patience. Bro, it takes patience given, to work with children. Oh my God! I think uh, we did. Uh, yeah, the idea was to do a one shot mm -hmm. for that. I remember, like a dream big, you know. Yeah. In the land, like we're gonna do this one shot. Uh, oh, 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 oopsie! That's uh, not uh, quite ground. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we tried. We tried the first time. Yeah. Uh, ah, didn't work. Now we try to eat, and try to them, uh, have them on cue. Mm -hmm. Do it second time, but we had a cue. You do it again. The camera turns. We are now a camera. I think if it wasn't for Dean, mm. yeah, uh, actually you're right. Dean, Dean yeah. made that scene. Me, my DOP. Yeah, yeah. Dean <laughs> actually did a good job there. <sighs> me, I think I was tired. Mm -hmm. V Box was frustrated because <laughs> it's also it's the last scene of the day. Yeah. What we in a fuck the home? Yes. The headmaster. Akopale Kokona, she's standing. Mm -hmm. like, kids need to yeah, get home. It's the time. first day on this location. Yes. Yeah. If we mess up, Kesha will go to Koji. Yeah. So, man, we, hey, but, uh, man, hey, thank you. Thanks so much, Dean. Dean yeah. handled the entire thing. Yeah. Hey, Dean, made, Dean made that scene. But it's a good experience. It's a good yeah, it experience. Is. I love movies where kids are involved. Uh, yeah, no, not anytime time soon. Masha Magic will call you someday and they tell you. So we are doing this story of a, a young kid. Yeah. We, um, uh, <laughs> and, and we have like an entire school. Well, this time we had one class. Maybe next time they give an entire school. Well, if the story... We will, we will think about it. We'll and then, the and then I'll call you, yeah, I'll call you <laughs> and you're like, I was so sold to the story. <laughs> and then, so 
there is this i don't know if it's symbolic mm-hmm. or it's just your your creative aspect of the story mm-hmm. where these prefects mm-hmm. are behaving like commanders mm-hmm. is it symbolic or is just part of the story yeah. um so for me for milan for a lot of people who went through the Kenyan education system <laughs> which is very violent yeah. like, truth be told yeah school felt like prison mm yeah it's a magic funny enough i used to of course deliver this by in primary yeah. school and then later during the years i was a school led boy ay 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 okay Ay ay ay. From hard this caller to hard this giver. You went you went to that side, huh? You know. Oh. Talking about it. Traitor. Now. What did you do? What did you do? <laughs> Whom did you sell out? No, 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 no guys, no. So for me, like yeah. the prefects felt like like first of all school felt like prison. Mm. Like that that also like with that informed a lot of choices we had in the school. Mm. If you even look at this, our location It's like a cage. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. It's, 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 it's symbolic. If you look at the color. Yeah. It's it's dark. Yeah. It's dark. Like there's like there's no freedom. It's sucked mm-hmm. out of you, man. So it's sucked out, of, it's sucked out of this boy. This boy cannot be Bruce. This boy this boy is not himself. He is whatever the system wow. wants him to be. Wow. And I forgot the message was worried. Now now you see that I'm saying wow because uh, <laughs> yeah. I'm now relating to the story. Because yeah. because when you are filming that particular scene I was telling when you're walking with the kid mm-hmm. it's so bright and so free yeah. and so free. Yeah, you see how But, open it is and yes, all. Yeah. Yeah. And the moment he steps in the school mm-hmm. the color changes. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. yeah. And then he's stepping into the classroom yeah. and he, he meets these uh the prefect. Mm-hmm. Yeah, cuz for him for him whenever he is with sensei whenever he's at school yeah man this boy can be brusco edge yeah, yeah like he's happy he can speak his language mm-hmm. even look at the joy when he speaks to sensei mm. yes the boy like he feels alive i think we should have a feature on this <laughs> you guys yeah, you guys make, in, like. make sure make sure you have a, you have a feature yeah. make sure you have a feature on this yeah. for you for you mr black paper yeah. um looking at the entire story uh-huh. of of stereo what did you pick up from from the story when you now the director said it's a rap guys and you went home and uh oh um I, the last day was fun we took all those pictures man wow. i remember yeah, yeah it was it was a bit of a disheartening that it was all done and all but um i think for me i i felt like 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 uh, bruce coach because mm-hmm. i was also i was in a system where i don't think people understood my personality Mm. especially when i reached high school no one understood this boy from coast mm. who has been raised by a white man and so for me i was so off with the system mm. but thank god i had mr alwenda who was now the patron for <laughs> for music festival for music, music club and he gave me that peace he gave me yeah. that and that was i would, I would say my sensei Yeah. Me. yeah. He gave me a space to be whatever I wanted to be. Mm-hmm. And he told me get into music club, do what you feel and do what you love. Mm-hmm. And I did it. For for four years mm-hmm. I was the on my second year, I remember mm-hmm. I became the chairperson for music and no, I, that was the only place I got peace. Mm-hmm. And so thinking about Bruce Coach having a sensei who gave him peace at that moment, mm-hmm. that is what drove me to. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um but I think I loved it all the the actors did a perfect job they yeah, did yeah. and I had mistaken uh the name I said Vbox and Abdi but it's Vbox and uh, Dean oh. Ahmed yeah mm-hmm. uh, I'd already worked with Dean before mm-hmm. and I know Dean does a beautiful job also with the cinematography but also he did a beautiful job working with the actors as he said with awesome. the children yeah. amazing all. he knows how to handle actors and mm. give them that space to be peaceful and do what they're doing mm-hmm. um so yeah I I enjoyed every part of it amazing yeah. this this film um how can it reach a wider audience. Mm, mm. That's a question I think I also asked <laughs> two days ago. Yeah. <laughs> How can it be because this, this 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 is something really good. Uh, yeah. It's yeah. very good. It's very good. Yeah. If if you love cinema, if you love film, you'll want to watch this short. Yeah. How can it reach a wider uh, audience? We are working on that. Uh, <laughs> but we distribution we had, we've, 
we did because we premiered at Rotterdam. Mm. At the, Rotterdam. Did you did you travel there? Tell us about I did, it. I, I didn't travel, but my producer, uh-huh. co-director, writer Milan traveled. Mm-hmm. <laughs> ah. yeah. Still fighting. Uh-huh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Some of his we will ones, win. We will win, <laughs> <laughs> we will win that fight. We will win that fight. Um yeah, at a beautiful premium Rotterdam. Mm. Then we did a uh, cinema run for two weeks. Oh, okay. Two weeks in the country. Um we are now I know we have a screening in at Nyali Cinemax. Mm. Just check out Tiro film on Instagram or Beneath the Tides. Mm-hmm. I don't, I'm not sure, 20 something. It's Kumbuki Dead so Just okay. check out for details. Yeah. But it's coming um, in cinema. Yeah. But it's coming. Also yeah. working on getting it on a, on a VOD platform. Amazing. Because, um, yeah, man, I think like people need to watch his stories. Mm-hmm. But not only Tiro, like the entire catalog. Yeah. Like they're such beautiful shots. Mm-hmm. You know, so. Yeah. How, how is. Shots in inspiring you to create shots. As I, t- I told you, mm-hmm. I first saw your first feature. Oh, my first one minute, with my one minute. minute. Yeah. <laughs> Ori, and uh-huh. then you did another shot and another shot. Mm-hmm. How, how is it shaping your career doing short films? Because I have been afraid of doing short films. I have been afraid of doing short films. Mm-hmm. I did one short film. Uh, this and uh, that, this one I did for my child. I think I watched it. You watched it? What yeah. Is? Yeah. yeah, what is uh, yeah. And, um, yeah. I, I just wanted to make it a feature. Even by the time we are finishing we are filming, yeah. I'm like, this should have been a feature. This should have been a feature. <laughs> but because uh, I, always, I always feel mm-hmm. I want to give the audience a stretch of the story. Mm-hmm. They get in the story. But then again, you meet other producers in the industry mm-hmm. and they sit you down and tell you there's importance of short films. Mm-hmm. So according to you, what do you think is the importance of short films? How is it shaping your career as a director and For a me, creative? I think for me one since I man I've only been I've, I've done I've learned directing from di- from doing the work yeah oh, okay you know and now the program I was in which was you know like the only way I remember reading talking to someone about it yeah. juicy juicy too um if you think of a painter how does how does a painter perfect his craft <laughs> they paint yeah, yeah how does a director perfect on his craft yeah. Just have to direct. Like, yeah. but unfortunately, yeah. directors yeah. wait for their next project. Yeah. <laughs> their next project. Yeah. So, like, next. you yeah. know, so for me, like, shots for me is a way. Like, it's that's how I learn. Mm-hmm. That's how. I, that's how. That's how I have learned directing mm-hmm. by doing these shots. Mm-hmm. Um, I think also their stories, like their stories that just can't be featured. There are stories that, man, they only shots. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like you don't need to. Like it's it served its purpose. It's mm-hmm. any shot, any ten minutes shot. Mm. Cannot be a feature. It's a because there's a, I feel there's a space for shots. Yes, yes. In yes. in the industry, mm. um, yeah. So for me, I think for me, like the um, sana sana shots for me. Uh, that's why I learn. Mm. Yeah. It's because you know, it's easier for me to experiment with shots as opposed to yes, features. Yes. The money in features, bro. It's, <laughs> there's no. <laughs> yeah. So because uh-huh. I'm also because because I'm also trying to find my style. I have an idea mm. <laughs> of uh-huh. what it's looking like now. Mm. It's not fully formed, but I, I have seen something across, something similar, something like because I think I have a I have a very like a theme that sticks across mm. I have a theme of grief. Mm. Okay. Yeah, you know, even, even what I'm working on next. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, for me that's short apple yeah. Amazing. Yeah. What do you think about the current state of Kenyan film industry, especially for um, for us who are just coming in the industry, especially young directors? Uh, um, yeah, I think because uh, <laughs> <laughs> we were discussing yeah. that before we came here. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, um, it's, I feel like the industry is it's not like it's opening up. I'm mm-hmm. I'm seeing like like we're seeing opportunities, like more opportunities. We're seeing. Uh, like we're now seeing people have original pre- or pre-licensed shows on streamers like Netflix. Mm. Um, you're seeing better budgets put into projects. Yeah. You know, <laughs> so like, like I see there is growth. Mm. We are uh, we still have a long way to go, mm. Mm. <laughs> but we're not where we were ten years ago. We're not no, you're where right. we are to keep a Cobra Squad. No, you're you know, right. You're right. Mm-hmm. Also, I feel like the industry now is more. 
it's more what's the word? Kizungu mpate. But it's like it's more inviting. Translate for <laughs> for the younger, like for the younger filmmakers, mm. like the species for them, they're being given opportunities. Yeah. Not as much, but. Like, mm-hmm. kuna space, kuna space. You guys take the opportunity. Like people, <laughs> just take it. <laughs> yeah, uh-huh. yeah. Also, because now I think people like this new gen, like the new wave of filmmakers are very daring. Yes. Mm. But yes. Bro, and if you don't, if you don't put in the work, <laughs> Kesho. <laughs> yeah. You're scaring us. We won't know you tomorrow, man. Yeah. Because people are, people, people are putting in the work. People are, mm. people are trying new things. Yeah. Which is, I think, it's a beautiful thing, and I can't wait to see where. Mm. Like what, like what 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 this opens to, mm. yeah. What do you think about the same local way? Um, no. As an actor, he says there, there's a lot of budgets being put. Oh yeah, no. Budgets. Of late, no, no, now. no, no. Better. <laughs> 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 of late, I think yeah. it's growing. It's, okay, it's, yeah. it's definitely grown. Mm. Um, way more Kenyan films on 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 DSTV mm-hmm. or even on Netflix mm-hmm. yeah. uh, on Showmax way more than they used to be yeah. um, that's the good thing um, another thing you're right I think the younger filmmakers now or the independent filmmakers now mm-hmm. all you need to do is pick up your own camera man. yeah that's what people are doing now mm-hmm. uh, there's this lady she's called Chandra Daisy mm-hmm. yeah. Her, she she started as an actor she was frustrated she just picked up a fuck Sorry, yeah. she just picked up a camera. Yeah. <laughs> just picked up a camera and yeah. did her own thing. Yeah. And right now, I think she's getting grants just to do her own thing. Mm-hmm. And I think that's what it is. And I think also opening up uh, the city to like for free on Sundays for mm-hmm. people to to shoot or yeah. take mm-hmm. pictures. Mm-hmm. It has opened up. People now yeah. can literally do this. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, filming in town back in the days. Was yeah, it was, yeah, it was yeah, it was so expensive. Yeah. Right now, I think you just have to pick a couple of people. Tell, let them sell them your idea mm. um, and yeah just sure. take your camera even if it's just one camera I yeah. think you can do something with it yeah. um, and so that's good that's that's happening the thing is you just have to kick these doors yeah. <laughs> you, yeah, can't yeah. ask, you can't ask you can't ask you can't yeah. beg for this you just have to kick take these it. doors yeah, 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 yeah. Sure. and I think the also the thing is one of the thing is you have to fight for these funds yeah mm. the funds are there mm. but you really have to show them that you need it mm. yeah um, yeah, I think that's happening. For actors, for actors back then it was, I know back then people were crying that it's either one actor is getting all the jobs. <laughs> that I remember, yeah. even when I started out, I didn't cry, but in my mind, that's what I had. The perception yeah. was like, oh, yeah. these gigs will always go to uh-huh. specific people. Specific people. Yeah. yeah. But look at, look at Hollywood. Yeah. One actor does a hundred films. Why are you crying? You know what I mean? Yeah, you just cannot. Even, even Nollywood. You've yeah, gone, even you've Nollywood. Gone once, yeah. once you are a face that, that can bring money, yeah. people are going to use you all the time. Exactly. That's how this yeah. life is. Yeah. Yeah. So all you have to do as an actor is, as you said, start somewhere. If it's a mm. church play or, mm. or um, set books or something, yeah. start somewhere. And once you become a Community theatre. Yes. Yeah. Because it's the community that's also going to say, mm. oh, we like seeing this person. Mm. And so the producers will also be like, oh, if people love seeing him, then let's use him mm. or let's use her. Mm. And so that's how it has to be. And so you just have to do it. You do it some more, do it some more. It will take a decade or 20 decades but, or two decades, but you just have to do it. Someday. Yeah, yeah. someday it will be you and mm. people will want to use you for, for the longest time. But I think for actors, we should... We should stop crying or we should stop. <laughs> no, we should, we should, we should. Um, and you should just do the work. Yeah. Yeah. There's, there's, there's something when it comes to faces. Mm-hmm. And uh, I think I'll speak from a producer's level. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, this is something maybe the guys who are coming in the industry might not understand. Mm-hmm. You see, like now, the way Black Paper says, you have an idea, you have to sell it to a few people and see if they can come into your film. Yeah. So look at this. I have this brilliant idea or a script writer has given me this script and he or she is like, look, Deki, I want us to produce this film. And I don't have the budget for mm-hmm. the actors. Yeah. And then I approach you and tell you, bro, I have this film and there's this guy, I think you can act, you, you can pull the role of this guy. Mm-hmm. And for you, are like, how much? And you're like, I don't have the money. And then you yeah. tell me, ah, no, Deki, ah, no. Yeah. Uh, I'm busy. I'm busy. And maybe you're not busy. Yeah. And then I come to Black Paper and tells me, let's do this. Yeah. And we do it for zero budget. Mm-hmm. Now, when I get 
another gig that is playing. Mm-hmm. Whom do you think I run to? Yeah. Um, it's very but subjective. It, it's very subjective too, because it, it, totally, it totally it depends is. on the people giving you the money. It if is. they say they want this person, it's hard to. Mm-hmm. It yeah. is, but first priority will be: I will run to that actor mm. that at some point worked on on me on a project when I had nothing. Mm. You can oh. look at uh, look at look at uh, Taylor Perry's movies. Most of those actors they're not mm. famous actors, mm. but if you can really try and. Um, I'm a student of life. So when I decide I'm going to study this particular director, mm-hmm. I'll go back digging into their old mm-hmm. films. Right. And funny thing is, when you look at Taylor Perry films, some of the actors that you're seeing now, mm-hmm. he started with them mm-hmm. at a particular film and you're looking at that film and you're like, okay, this is literally mm-hmm. a low budget film. Yeah. A low budget film. Yeah. Anyway, story for another day. Yeah. Guys, um, we are expecting to see Stero on... on uh, director is working on getting stereo on VOD platforms. Yeah. I want to see it more in cinemas. We want to watch this brilliant, amazing film that these guys were um, Pamoja. And just to make sure, they made sure we have a nice story to watch. Yeah. Apart from films, I want to know, guys, what do you guys do in, in Kenya? Okay. Especially, what do, you, what do you do in Kenya? Uh, apart from films. Apart from film, Apart from making movies. Apart from making movies, I am an event producer. Aha. Yeah. Uh-huh curator for an event, the Vibe 254, mm. which focuses on live performances by alternative music artists. Uh-huh. Mm. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's Remember okay. I wanted to be a singer? Yeah. Remember? <laughs> Remember? So, I see. Like it was a way of me trying to get back into, because mm-hmm. I love music, bro. Yeah. I love music. It's part of you. But yeah. I'm using it. Um, so I just graduated last year mm-hmm. from journalism in USIU. Amazing. Congrats. But... Uh, <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. But come to think of it, yeah. I think I've been solely just doing acting, brother. Mm. Yeah. That's the only thing that... Since 2016, yeah. that has been the thing that has mm. been giving me money. Mm. Yeah. And I know... I would say my mother wants me to get a, I would say, a regular job. Mm. Because she's like, you did journalism, can't you just get yourself into one of these broadcasting spaces? Yeah. And, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, I, I would definitely love to do that. But I also want to prove to her that my mm. acting is, mm. is mm. going to pay me yes. and, and pay my bills and also yeah. just get us out of all this doubt mm-hmm. and insecurity financially mm-hmm. uh so there's that I'm I'm, I'm 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 of course i know i can do well in a regular job yeah with journalism I, i'm mm-hmm. confident i can do it but i also want to prove myself that yeah. acting can, can can pay me and and get us out of this insecurity of financially mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so yeah amazing guys in our industry there are times that comes that we feel like uh, I don't want. I, I don't want just to be in it. I can't keep going. I feel like uh, <laughs> I can't be here. I can't be uh-huh. here. Starting with you, uh, Lukaweli. Yeah. Are there times when you've just thought like uh, this is this is it for me? I can't keep going. And what made you to just get up and keep going? Well, you have to understand as an actor. Um, you get a job, you do it so well. It, sometimes it's just a week, sometimes it can go six months. But after that, to get another gig, it might take even a year. Okay? Mm. And so, yes, you're in a high at that time. If it's a six months, like it, let's say it's a TV show that goes for like nine months, you're in a high. You're getting a job, people enjoy it, your, your, your relatives are enjoying money, you're giving your mom a bit of money here and there, you know. I got it, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. But once it's done, it mm. can be done for like half a year or like a full year, you don't have a job. Mm. And people are like, what do you want to do now? Mm. And I've had those moments and I've always thought, you know what, let me get a job. Let me, let me find a job. Mm. But for me, I'm hard-headed. I think my problem is I always have a feeling, and the feeling has been way more than me looking for m- money. Mm. The feeling has been, I know I can do this. I know this can be more successful than it is now. Mm. And that is what has pushed me to do this. The fact that I have a feeling that I know I'm good at this job, mm. 
and I can get better jobs. Or I, can, I can get regular jobs acting. Mm -hmm. I remember when I tell people um, that I'm a working actor, when someone asks me, what do you do? I tell them I'm a working actor. Mm -hmm. And they're like, what do you mean? Mm. I mean, <laughs> the people who are just actors and they're chilling in the house, yeah. doing nothing, but of course you see them on screens mm -hmm. and all that, mm -hmm. but literally they're not working. They're mm -hmm. just sitting in the house or, or now they have to find another job. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. Yeah. But I'd, and it's hard in Kenya because the film industry is still, still growing. You can't just be an actor. That's why most actors either become crew they decide yeah, yeah. yeah most actors yeah, are crew yeah, too yeah. uh ask ask michael smalls he'll tell you when you're yeah. he'll tell you. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I, I, almost, tell you. I almost worked with him. I know. Yeah, he'll tell you. Uh, this you have to find you have to find other places to get to get yeah. money to mm. to keep your afloat. Mm. And and for me, I, I would say maybe it's the immaturity in me yet that I think acting will will pay off my my bills. I would say it's probably the immaturity in me, but I'm still stuck with it. I'm still yeah. fighting. Yeah. And I believe that acting is definitely going to pay my bills and, and get us out of this financial crisis. Yeah. One day at a time. One day at a time. And, at but, a time. but I have to say, Lodika, you're mm. so good. Like, you're so informative in this thing. <laughs> you have no phone, no, <laughs> no paper. Nothing. But you know these things. You know both of us. And I have to say, I appreciate that. I appreciate it. Uh, you're welcome. You're welcome. I'm trying. I'm uh, trying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're doing a good you. job. And for you, what, what, what are those moments that have, come your way while you're trying to navigate this uh, this creative space and you thought like ah me i think industry now don't care and what kept you going um, i think my lows have been low mm. like really really low i think one time in i think before i think about 2019 i think mm. i was so done in this industry <laughs> i was man i was so done mm. because and i don't i'm trying to remember what made me get back to it I don't remember, but I remember Faiz. I think Faiz made me keep on doing it. Yeah. Then I think I, I was in the house for like three months. I'm off social, nothing. I don't care about people. Mm -hmm. Faiz will call, bro. <laughs> you know, you know that. Um, but then it wasn't really because I wasn't really really fully into it. I think I was. Conf I was in the middle of. Do I really need to do this? Do I? Just do this electrical engineering. Yeah, yeah. Then interesting, I think one of the low, low moment, moments I had was Monday as a Kitambo. I think even just early this year. Because yeah. I was like, man, I have to do, you pre made at Rotterdam. Mm. What next? Yeah. Like it's, I don't know. Then listening, because I've, I've, I've I, I have been trying to find a reason to keep going on. Mm. But I, I think there's, there's, there's a thing about film. Mm. Man, then you can Bro, you will <laughs> get to your lowest or <laughs> lowest. Idea for Lani could. Or look at it, gives you a call, bro. Uh -huh. So I'm doing this shot. You uh -huh. forget uh -huh. where you are. In the, yeah. And you know, it's, yeah. you get yeah. back to it. Mm -hmm. I was listening to when uh, Marianne Nungo speak. Um, I think Marianne gave me reason to keep on doing this. Because uh, it's. Yeah, but me and the old Mulem Sambia to keep doing it. Man, it's, it's going to make sense someday. I feel deep down, <laughs> you're tired, bro. <laughs> you gotta um, keep going. Yeah. yeah, man, but it's also, I think also my love for telling stories. Mm. Like, I, I don't have a plan B, bro. Mm. Is it? This is the engineering. <laughs> <laughs> but if you've chosen this, this the way to, yeah, then just, just do it. Like it has, because it's... Just do it. Like, I see it opening up, so... Mm. Mm. And it is opening up. Yeah. It is opening up, and uh, I'm seeing... Even some creators are just going to on YouTube to create stories. Yeah, this yeah. show, we used to produce this show back in the days mm, for Star Times. For Star Times, yeah. Okay? But after COVID, um, okay? And uh, we've been thinking about it and we say, you know what? Let's bring it back and go on YouTube. Do it online. Okay? Mm. And I'm seeing this. There's a lady, she's called uh, Matubi. Yeah. She launched her series on YouTube. 17. Yes. That was juicy. That yeah. was, yeah. I think I watched an episode. And I have to say, yo, you have to respect these people. I yeah. mean, yeah. the sacrifice you put, especially as an actor to decide mm. to be a producer. Yes. <laughs> the sacrifice, you. man. It's crazy. Yeah. So yeah. if I think there is um, 
enough cake uh, yeah, I think for, there is. for everyone. Mm-hmm. And um, for me, I'll just tell most of the guys who are coming in, mm-hmm. or the guys even who are in and they feel like, you know what, mm-hmm. I want to go, I want to quit this thing. The moment maybe you're about to quit is maybe when your door is about... And it happens yeah, most yeah, of the time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you know, you know, I've, I've, had that, I've had that statement yeah. a million times. You know? No, but it's true. <laughs> But it's yeah, true. yeah, I'm saying, yeah. Because with Stero, Stero is a mm. nice film, and yeah. uh, for me, I'm this kind of person. If I watch a film for the first time, I think it's a gift. Mm-hmm. If I watch a film, if I watch a movie, uh, if I watch a music video, mm-hmm. and I'm like, this is good, mm-hmm. it's going to hit. Mm. It, it's just me, and I love it. Thank you, my brother. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Just make sure it gets to the people, you will, you it gets will. to the community. Because yeah. they normally say, Story is king, but community is queen. So it needs yeah. to get to the people. Yeah, you know, right. right. So are there are there um, movies or directors or or people in Kenya inspiring you? To? Yeah, bro, for sure. Mm. You had talked of Lucarion. Lucarion, my mm. I think I knew Lucarion after watching Supermodel. Mm. Uh-huh. I had to go back and pay again. You know, I watched Supermodel twice. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, yeah. Supermodel, ah, man, that's where I learned. That's where. I started following Lucarion mm-hmm. and learning from him. Oh my God, Lucarion has Lucarion is a genius. To me, yeah. Lucarion is a genius. Even mm-hmm. even even looking at his works, yeah, like there is there is something about that man. Like he is like his dedication to mm-hmm. to the craft, to storytelling, to directing, bro. It's like it's like it speaks a lot. Mm-hmm. And also one. The one Angela Wamai. Mm. Uh-huh. Oh my God! I watched. I had a few years back. I had watched a short. I had to buy a short show. Mm-hmm. I thought, I'm not sure if it's a guy. It is I had. I watched a short. I had to buy a short show, mm. and I remember seeing. Because I remember that short to date. Because mm-hmm. it sort of resonated with the kind of stories I want to tell. Yeah. Like in terms of like the tone. Of the story, fast forward, I watched Shimoni. Mm-hmm. It's created in the country. Bro, Shimoni is such a beauty. Shimoni is my favorite film at the moment. Mm-hmm. I think it's gonna face is. Okay. Shimoni is a model. Whichever, it's got to a Shimoni is a model. And I remember Where do you get to watch this thing? Shimoni. Or? I watched Shimoni when Shimoni was screening in the oh, cinema. Okay, okay, in the okay. cinemas. I, I don't know why you can watch Shimoni mm-hmm. now. But I know they're still doing festivals. No, nah, okay. Mm. Um, this, this is something we need to crack as filmmakers. Yeah. Where do I watch this? Because yeah. after this episode, just go to yeah. to our comment section. Most of the guys are asking, where, where, watch can, we, shots? where can we watch? Please, please. I think, I don't know. Please. I don't know if it's a... Because I realized, I think I'm talking to Juliana. Mm. Uh, like, I think in a Samsung or Lightbox mm. at one point. Mm. And it, I think it's a very unfortunate thing. But if you think about it, think of all the successful films that have done well in the country. Mm. I think look at Shimon, look at Rafiki, mm. like all these shots, Zilipata, like a global, like an international recognition mm. first. Yeah, mm. yeah before. Yeah. Then, uh, before. Mm. I, I don't know what that says about us. Us, Kenya, you know, because it's <laughs> so common, Kenya, Kenya, it's, I don't know. Uh-huh. But like, I honestly don't know. But yeah, Angela Amai is, because like, I, I went back to watch, I had to buy show show, then realized it's her film. Mm. It's the proof of concept for Shimoni. Mm. Mm. Okay. And I was like, oh my God, Shimoni is. I think the nuances in the film, the, how she uses music. Because Shimoni is such a silent film that speaks mm. so loudly. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. To Ambien as I watch you happy, Arakamo, you'll pay. We have yeah. to pay for yeah. content. Oh, I'll, I'll ask Angela. I'll look yeah, for Angela. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Uh, I'm not sure. Yeah. Oh, amazing guys! You guys are amazing storytellers and uh, storytellers. Sorry, uh, my 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 people are speaking about me. Yeah. So you guys are amazing storytellers. We can keep talking about yeah, this man. and this this discussion. I want just to hear from you, uh, Black Pepper. Yeah. There is a young actor um, who wants to join this industry now, yeah. Yeah. and um, they look at you. Uh, they may not have met you in person, yeah. but they. I know you, there, there are days you watch a film and you go back digging into this actor. Mm. You want to know where did he start from, his story, his mm. films, and everything. Yeah. And someone watch you today and go back digging and then they found, wow, mm. these guys are really, really, really big in this industry. Mm. What should you tell this 
a young kid, this young boy, this young guy mm. who wants to join this, this industry? Um, oh, thank you very much <laughs> for, that, for realizing that I'm doing a good job. Uh, <laughs> you are doing a good job. Thank you, thank you. First of all, I would say auditions, man. Mm. Auditions, auditions, auditions. Uh, I think I'm in luck because I did a lot of auditions as a model. Mm. And that's where I came to I say accept that auditions are a gateway to everything. Mm -hmm. But the you have to do auditions. I remember the, the audition I went to, they wanted a plus-sized chef. They wanted a plus-sized chef. Mm -hmm. And I was like, you know what? I'm still going to go there. Mm -hmm. And I went there and the casting director was like, have you seen yourself? Like, why are you here? <laughs> I was like, okay. well, either way, me being plus-sized, you can give me things to put on. Yeah. It's how I'm acting, right? Yes. And they all laughed. They mm. all laughed. They didn't know why I was there because I think I was the only one with this physique. Everyone mm. else was plus sized. Mm. But it's only because I thought, if they're going to see me, maybe one day, mm. you never know who's going to call. Yeah. Mm. And so for me, I've always done auditions, no matter where it was, what they want, as long as it's male. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> As long as okay. it's male, uh -huh. okay. <laughs> I'm there. Uh -huh. Because <laughs> these casting directors are very few. Uh, In okay. Kenya productions, it's a number. You can, uh, you can put, mm, like, you understand? Mm. So all these, all these, they have all these uh, clips somewhere. They'll, something they will click. Yeah. They'll remember that person from there. Can you call him, see what they can do this mm. time? Mm. Uh, and I think from that, that's when I started getting closed auditions. That's when someone mm. is like, just get me that specific person. Yeah. And I think with that, again, you just have to put in the work. Mm -hmm. Again, I've done so many things that didn't pay. Uh, and most actors that I know of, they won't do it. Mm -hmm. If it doesn't pay, yeah. they won't do it. And I, actually, I understand because mm -hmm. you're in this to also get paid. You're not mm -hmm. just yes. here to... It's not a child's game anymore. It's a You're career an adult. like any other career. Yeah, you want to get paid. People have bills. Mm. And I understand that. But sometimes, as I said, I think for me, it's the immaturity of it. Mm. It's, <laughs> it's sometimes I just want to be there. As I said, yeah. acting gives me peace. And so sometimes if the story is good, let's just do it. Let's just mm. do it. You never know. Next time, maybe someone will pick it up. They want to do it now properly. Yes. The money will be there. Mm. Okay? Mm -hmm. and, and so it's that. And it's the hope that sometimes the producers are going to give you a cut at some point. Mm. Yeah? Because I have to understand, once it's done, once it's all done, it's legally the producer's product. They are the ones who, 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 who are going to mm. negotiate with someone else who has yes. money. So yeah. in the end, this is the producer's product. Mm -hmm. And so I guess you have to also know your producer and let them know, yeah, I'm doing this. But yeah. if this produces some money, yo, don't be selfish with it because <laughs> we did this together. Yeah. You know what I mean? Let the money flow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, yeah, it's just dedication. Amazing. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for that. Yeah. Um, you almost quit. Yeah. But sorry man. Yeah. That's the thing about a director, you know. Yeah. Sometimes they you get busy. calls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they are busy. <laughs> but, but don't worry. He's, a, he's about to get a secretary. <laughs> after, after we start yeah, yeah, seeing yeah, his yeah, yeah. all over. PA is coming he'll around. get a PA. He'll get a PA. Just send yeah. his missions. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so there's this kid who just came from high school or campus mm -hmm. and they're like uh, there is a song by H at the back. Mm -hmm. It's called Time. Mm -hmm. There's a line that he says, by the time you, are, you think that you're not doing well, I'm just paraphrasing it, mm -hmm. someone else is looking up to you. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, listen to that song. So if you think you haven't done much, there's a kid who's looking up to you. What should you tell them? <laughs> mm -hmm. Um... I think just remember, I think always remember why you started doing whatever you're doing. Mm. Like, don't lose sight of your vision. Like, bro, like, keep on, keep on, keep on pushing. Yeah. Like, it, um, like, there's a reason, there's a reason, there's a reason as to why I am not in the medical space and I am, this is, this is my purpose in life. Just yeah. keep at it. Go think about it. Um, 
a very famous quote that look really <laughs> about um, just because when you're just about to give up yeah, yeah. opportunity, you know. Yeah. A door opens. You know, yeah, because even mm. even think about it, even when I did my very first thing feature for my shamanic, mm. I think I think in the call your time. I was yeah. like, I was so done and get a call. Mm. Like, mm. Ah, okay. So, so it's of, true. This statement is quiet. <laughs> it's kedo true. It's, it's kedo true, you know. <laughs> but also, I think for, I'm going to read something. Mm. Um, it's, uh, yeah, also for them and for every, for any filmmaker who's, you know, doing, doing their stuff. This is a quote. I got this from Sam Soko. Mm. And, he said, and he said, don't lose sight of what you're trying to achieve. Mm. There's so much influences that exist in our world, in the world right now, um, particularly in a space where truth is questioned. Um, don't lose sight of what truth is. Don't work to manipulate the truth because your work is so important in building people's perspective, in nurturing how particularly the younger generation exists with the world. Like par, I'm done. <laughs> Five years from now, <laughs> we're going to watch this interview because, as they say, internet never forgets. Mm -hmm. And I believe um, we will be in very different realm of life. Mm -hmm. What is your future plans? What's next chapter for you? <sighs> Man, for me, it, I think for me it's simple. It's just to keep on making stories that are screaming to be told. Mm -hmm. Amazing. That's the word, screaming. Yeah. And for you, uh, like I don't, I don't want to just tell stories. Mm -hmm. I want to tell stories that are screaming. Scream. To be told. Amazing. Yeah. And for you, Mr. Black Pepper. Oh, yeah. I want to. I, I will never look at that. <laughs> <name> <laughs> <again>. <laughs> I wish I never knew that. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> hey, how life goes, you know. Um, what well, one I've always said I want to be a top export in 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 acting as a mm -hmm. as an actor. I wanna be the mm -hmm. top export in Africa. Um, I wanna be a leading man. I wanna mm -hmm. be a leading man. And even if I'm given the littlest of role in the production, I still wanna be a leading man. Where people are like, oh yeah, we need to see who this. Like we wanna see him there. Uh, and remember, I, and I don't I don't watch what people or read what people say. But someone had sent me something mm -hmm. uh, that a critic had put up, mm -hmm. and they had said it was about a film that I'd done, and that written, oh, and by the way, I always enjoy seeing Luca Relio Nyango on screen. And I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay. that gave me, because I'm, you're always in your head. You never see what other people think of you or something. So when I saw that, I was like, okay, then I have to keep on doing this. Like, there's no any other way. We have to keep on doing this. If people definitely enjoy seeing what I do on screen, then mm -hmm. I'm not stopping anytime soon. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I just want to be one of the biggest exports from Africa mm -hmm. as, as an actor. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. <laughs> who is that one person you always know that he has your back and who is that one person has helped you get into this business and kept you going? One person? One person. <laughs> One, one, <laughs> just one. <laughs> uh, man, I feel like hey, you've cut out a lot of people <laughs> that you might call us after this thing. <laughs> okay, maybe maybe we can uh, bend some rules. Uh, Let's bend some rules. For me, I have um, like a team of friends who really, really seen me through this. Um, we're breaking the rules, right? Mm. Yeah. Uh, thanks. So. Yeah. At most three. Yeah. <laughs> 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 um, Fa Faiz, Francis Oma. Mm. That's for, me, for me, that's Faiz. Joy Mune. Um, Faiz, Joy Mune, V-Box, who's been my long-time DOP. Mm. And I don't mind, Anjiri. Mm. Yeah, plus Kina Justo. Just, yeah. Justo, the community around Kina Justin. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Amazing. We always need someone. And now Milan, mm. man, Milan and Juliana uh, yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Well, met them, got into my list immediately. Yeah, yeah. They, yeah. Amazing. And for yeah. you? Um, I may not have a lot of them. Not, not because I don't know of them, but the thing is, when I joined this uh, acting career, mm. I stopped, like, I was 
so solely focused on my job, mm. right? And so when I got the job, I did the job, left. Mm -hmm. I go back home and sleep, mm. okay? I don't care who's the producers, who are the directors again. I don't care who's putting the, give me my script, give me my money, I'll do my <laughs> job, I'll leave. That was my perception uh -huh. of acting. All right. Until, and I would say this, which is again, thank you very much, mm. is a person called Peter Kawa. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Peter Kawa, I remember I was going to do, I was going to do an audition at uh, Supersport. I didn't know who he was at all. Mm. And then he just, he just called me and was like, hey, how are you doing? I was like, I'm fine. He was like, can I get your number? I just thought it was just another person who, who had seen me somewhere. <laughs> and, and, the, uh -huh. and I was like, <laughs> yeah, here's my number. Cool. Mm -hmm. And then... I just started getting, as I said, sometimes I just get a call and someone tells me, go there, go there. Mm -hmm. And then later on, I come to realize it's him who's telling these people, mm -hmm. pick Lucarelli, pick Lucarelli. And so on this day, the day I realized it's actually him who does this, it was, I was doing, there's a show called Kasiri. Mm -hmm. It's a TV show. And he called me directly and told me, go to this place, just go there. I thought it was another audition. It wasn't an audition. It was something already like fixed. Mm. And I was already doing the role. Amazing. And I never appreciated him for all these things until I think we met Kalasha. And mm -hmm. I had to just tell him, like, yo, thank you very much. Like, I didn't even know you've been doing this behind the scenes. And I think it's, it's better that way. If you're going to see someone doing a job and they're doing better, just, just give them a role. Give yeah. them something. You don't have to gain anything from it or anything. Yeah. The world will definitely gift you. And I would have to say for Peter Kawa, thank you very much. Uh, but I guess there are many other people who have done that yeah. too that I do not know of. Yes, yes. Uh, it's just that I didn't realize he, do, he did that for me and I have to appreciate it. Yeah. yeah. Amazing. Yeah. When we started this show mm. back then, he was the first person, Peter Kawa, yeah. mm -hmm. to share our link across Facebook. Yeah, oh, man. And that was the, it. Was the show was so green? Mm -hmm. People were wondering who are these who are people? people? Yeah. Uh, where are these kids <laughs> coming from? But the best thing we had shot it on a green screen, so the studio looked so big. Mm -hmm. But the content was there, so it was only mm -hmm. Peter Kawa who first shared it, and from mm -hmm. there we started interviewing people that we could not even imagine we could. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Peter Kawa. Receive your flowers. <laughs> Receive your flowers. So, guys, yeah. thank you so much for coming. Oh, to thank the Cinema you. Thank you so much. Show. Thank you so much. I'm so humbled to have sat here. Uh, I think it's almost an hour. Yeah. Just to, to have a discussion <laughs> on your stories, mm -hmm. on what you're doing. And I want you guys to keep on creating stories, screaming mm -hmm. stories. Yeah. Keep on creating them. Look, really, it's not you being immature. <laughs> this is what you want to do. Just do it. As you say, you want to be the top. Um, the top lead actor yes. in Africa. Yes. Dreams, dreams of Ali. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much, guys, for coming. Thank you so uh, much. And I want that. the people who are watching just to follow you guys across social media platforms mm. to connect with you mm. and just tap into your creative aspects. Mm -hmm. uh, you guys are on TikTok, Facebook, Instagram. <laughs> I'm not on TikTok yet. Uh, uh, yeah. Are you on TikTok? Doing what? No. no. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. No. Um, <laughs> I'm <didn't even> doing <laughs> But, no, listen, I have to, I have to say, yeah. they, they definitely have. They, they yeah. do put some snippets there. You never know who's going to see some. I think I'm in a. I mean, I Man, I, I struggle with social media. Uh, uh, the only reason I'm on social is because of work I do. Yeah, you told me. Yeah, yeah. We've been struggling to chat. Bro, I can't even say I'll see your text today. I'm like, you may reply to work. Two days later, oh shit. Yeah. 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 Uh, but uh, only on Instagram? Um, no, I'm on Instagram. Mm. Um, I'm mm. um, on Facebook. Yeah. Uh, um, Twitter. Yeah. Mm. X. Um, okay. Kimathi, Kimathi Tevin, Kimathi Tevin on Instagram. I think Facebook is Kimathi Tevin on mm -hmm. but just think Kimathi Tevin across all possible. Superb. Superb. <laughs> you need a community behind it. That's yeah, why, yeah. Right. That's why right. we, we keep on encouraging guys, you know, to follow you, get to know your stories, yeah. tap into your creative aspect. Yeah. Are you not on Twitter? No, I am. 
Okay. I am on Twitter. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, I'm on Facebook. That's the mm -hmm. first place yeah. we all started this. <laughs> <laughs> That's where it all began. <laughs> um, but I'm more active mm. on Instagram. Lovely. Yeah. But again, mm. Mr. Black Pepper. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> there's something, there's something uh, most casting directors say is mm. that always put your official name because casting directors would not know, or anyone who wants mm -hmm. to find you would not know who you are. Mm. Um, of course, I've always ignored it. Right. <laughs> but if you want my official name, Luca Relli Onyango, mm -hmm. uh, and my nickname for the close friends or people who know me well, Chico. Chico. Yeah. All right. <laughs> and congratulations mm -hmm. on your new film, Theft. Oh, um, Thief. Yeah, Thief. Yes. Sorry. Yes, 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 Thief. Yes. It's now streaming on uh, My Movies Africa. Yes. Guys, you can go there and see what this guy did. No, he yeah, he thank stole you. a couple of. Diamonds. <laughs> it's a couple of diamonds. That's yeah, a story. Yeah, yeah. You should come next. You should come next and then we talk about... Oh, yeah. Thief. Invite me. Invite me. I'll you, should, you should. Yeah, yeah, All yeah. right. Thank you guys for watching the Cinema and Theatre Break Show. Remember, this episode was shot at Hoyo Fire Creatives. We are located at Brickwood Apartments. This space is open for booking. Guys, you can come here, create your videos from here, create podcasts we hear, uh, from here. We have amazing equipment for you guys to come and use. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us across social media platforms. From me to you, have a great time. Thank you.